Hey, welcome to the Absolutely Improviser Monologue. Uh, you know the drill. There's a little something going on down there. Um, sorry, new table, new rugs and stuff. Uh, I want to give a shout out to Amy Jo. Amy Jo is beginning to collect the biographical information of Porkchop and the family. And uh, Amy Jo has been a good friend, a good proofreader, a good ear, a good uh, uh, research person. Uh, when the uh, COVID lifts, she'll be a good photographer for me. She already is a good photographer. Um, she's also a great, great, great pickle maker. She's like the Michael Jordan of pickle makers. So, uh, so Amy Jo, uh, thank you for all you do. And um, here goes nothing. Now, I don't talk about Gail's friends just too much because they're, they're kind of highfalutin. You know, they have the big vocabularies, they have the fancy, uh, you know, clothes. Like I say, oh, those are nice trousers. And she says, oh, these are capris. All right, whatever. To me, capris are a restaurant where you get a nice espresso and a, and a, and a cookie, but okay. So I try to be nice to these ladies. And they're, and they're okay. I mean, they ain't bad. They're not bad. There's nothing wrong with them or nothing. Uh, they're just not, you know, they're just not my cup of meat. You know what I'm saying? So this one was uh, telling uh, telling Gail that she needs a tryst. Now I'm like, you know, words like tryst confuse me because they only have one syllable, but I don't always know what they mean. So I, I, I call Eldon. I said, Eldon, have your nephew... Google this word, tryst, and uh, and then call me and tell me what it means. So Eldon calls the kid, and the kid does the thing, and then they call me back, and he says, a tryst is a romantic rendezvous. So I'm like, what does Gail need that for? I mean, I, we do that. You know, I'm not, I, I, I'm no Rock Hudson, but I can take care of, you know, Gail in the romance department, right? So I'm trying to figure out what exactly the hell she needs. So her other friend calls up and says, uh, is Gail around? I said, yeah, I, I get her. And I go and get her. And, you know, I, I, I leave the room. I'm not going to eaves, eaves uh, drop because it ain't my business. Gail has never lied to me. Gail has never deceived me. She's not going to start now over some tryst. So... The girlfriend says, we really need to get you a tryst. We can we can work you in Friday. Work you in? You have to have an appointment for this? So now I ain't saying nothing. I ain't worried about it too much. Okay, I'm really worried about it. It's Thursday night. I go to bowling with the guys. I ask around a bit. And they have no idea what I should do because they all know that Gail is, you know, she's the goods. So, I just figure I'll, I'll, I'll wait it out and see. So, Friday comes, and uh, I'm sitting there uh, watching a little TNV with uh, Porkchop Jr., and Gail comes in the room, and she is dressed nice. Not fancy, not, 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 not her, her normal glamorous, but nice. I said, where are you going? She says, I'm going down to, to see the girls. I said, oh, okay. So she gets in her car and she goes. And I said, approach your journey. You want some ice cream? He looked at me and said, Whose kid am I? Good boy. Let's get ice cream. So we just happened to go down the same street that, that Gail was going. And we just happened to turn in the same corners that she was turning. And we just happened to end up parking behind her. And she goes into this place called Janina's. Porkchop Jr. looks at me and he said, I don't see no ice cream, Pops. Shut up, boy. And I walked up to the window and I peeked in and Janina's was a beauty shop. She sat down and they started doing something to her. And I said, they're getting her ready to have her tryst? Is this like a club? Is this an organization? And why haven't I been told about it? Anyway, I get back in the car. We go to the drive through at Dunkin' Donuts. I get to get a call. We get home. About a half hour later, Gail comes in the house. Her hair looks amazing. And 
I said, Gail, where have you been? She said, well, you know, the girls and I were talking about it, and I've had the same hairdo for the last six years, and I haven't changed it, and they thought that it would be cool if I got a new hairdo. I said, oh, okay. She said, yeah, this is called a twist. This is all the rage. The girls are getting a twist. I said, a what? She said, a twist. You got a twist. She said, well, yeah. Is it okay? I said, you didn't get a tryst. She said, honey, who would I have a tryst with besides you? Well, that's what I'm saying. But I heard, oh, you got a twist. Honey, I don't care if you're bald as Yul Brenner. You're the most beautiful woman in the world. And next weekend, you and I are going to go and have a tryst in the Wisconsin Dells at Paul Bunyan's. Because it's Pork Chop Day. You're beautiful, honey. I love you. I love you. I love you. Pork Chop Jr. loves you. If Gail were here, she would tell you she loves you. I love you. You're beautiful.